Hey, what's up, daywalkers and fellow travelers of the night? So we did two Moon Knight shorts where we opened e-packs because they're on sale right now on the Upper Deck e-pack website. And I figured let's go ahead and get a full box too. I mean, we had a few extra dollars. We sold some stuff on eBay recently and we had some credits still left in there. We said, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. So without further ado, let's dive into this Upper Deck e-pack box of Moon Knight. This will probably be the last time we get anything Moon Knight related because we're pretty caught up. I mean, we got everything we really want except one autograph. We would love a May Kalamawe autograph, to be honest. That'd be great to land in this box. I, I don't know if we'll get it or not, but if not, if we get another autograph of a different actor, maybe we can trade someone for a May autograph and that will complete our autograph set. So most of these cards, if not all of them, might be duplicates, but I still figured, screw it, let's just have some fun and let's celebrate. And this always cheers me up. And I'm, I'm already in a good mood, but I wanted to be even a better mood. So we're going to do it right now. Here we go. Pack number one. All right. We got Take Control for now. I can turn back the night sky. Great card. Conchu's head in the sand. That's a cool card. Pal Wet It. I'm afraid you are actually quite dead. <laughs> Great line in the show. Hey, we got an acetate, Oscar Isaac as Moon Knight. Very cool. We just recently completed this set in physical form. So uh, we actually have all the acetates, all 24 of them, which is mind-blowing. You'll probably see that on an upcoming Spotlight episode. Um, and then awesome, we got an ensemble card for Oscar. Really, really cool. All right, next pack. Here we go. We're going pack by pack. That's just how I do things here. Um, all right, so we got Mr. Knight in the ensemble. Awesome card. Cool. We got the scales. Oh, yes, which we rainbowed recently. You'll see another Spotlight episode very soon for that. Um, I know Blue was very excited. Didn't think we'd actually get a rainbow. I didn't think we would either, but hey, here we are. Dress as Tatouette. Awesome. Antonio. Got an Ethan card. Great shot of him. That is a great shot. I love that shot right there. Um, that's so cool. Even though we had that card already, it's still a cool shot. And I survived because I knew I wasn't alone. That's a great line there said by Stephen. Um, or no, actually it was Mark. Mark said it to Stephen outside of the, you know, the big gates uh, to, to get them back out of the afterlife. So, all right. Next pack, pack number three. I did it. You got planted. <laughs> This card, number 35, was our hardest card to find originally. Now we get it almost in every pack or box. And look, we just got the sand version of it. So back to back, that's amazing. Fist of Vengeance card. You're in the wrong ends, mate. And buy me some time. Great Layla card. And a good Ethan card there. Perfect. All right. We're just going to kind of go through these now. Because uh, at this point, I'm just looking for really awesome hits. If we find them, maybe something of value of any kind. So we can trade it and maybe try to get a make Kalamawe autograph that'd be awesome we've already started knocking out some of the achievements on this too i believe so blue's got some achievement cards we're going to do a whole spotlight on those so you'll see stuff more of this set coming up very soon on our shorts um awesome so we got uh we got the oscar mr knight sand again we have all these cards but just cool to see them and another great shot of mr knight looking in the mirror um so that's cool that's when he's like what are you what are you wearing why are we wearing that costume he's like i don't know tell me to get the suit like i summon the suit <laughs> All right, next pack, pack number five. Ooh, a nice shot of Amit there, cool. Great shot of Ethan, great cast in this set. Hey, there's our sky blue. Balance your scales, oh, that's cool that we got a, a scale related card, even though we have the one that's just the scales, card 50. We have that one already in, you know, full rainbow. But it's cool to have this one, man. I'm into that. Card 180 out of 199. So we do have an alpha from the series, and it's an autograph of all things uh, with Ethan Hawke. Uh, Freaking Blue got that one on an E-pack, no less. So, uh, so again, I think he ruined our odds of getting any more autographs on here. But um, very cool. We got that alpha. So now we, were, we would love to get an Omega numbered card in this set. Um, you know that we're too picky. We're, we're happy with everything we've gotten. And like I said, we've pretty much completed everything we really, really want. Now at this point, we're just looking for something to maybe help with an achievement or to trade with somebody for a May Kalamawe. Um, so that would be great. So let's keep going. Let's hopefully we got only one hit uh, in the acetate. So that's two out of four or five potential hits in this box. So we'll keep going to see what we get. 
Sand Fist of Vengeance, all right. Shout of the Parents again. And our Amit Ensemble again, all right. Next pack. And thank you all for being here. Like I said, this new set that's coming out, that's going to have some Moon Knight cards in it. Um, the Upper Deck debut cards, like rookie cards are going to do with that and Werewolf by Night and stuff. Like, I'm so jazzed. I cannot wait. And I think there's going to be some Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas you know, special shots in there too, I saw. So we're going to do a whole episode where I talk about it. I'm excited. All right. The apartment. I love that apartment design. That whole team did a great job. They kind of made it pyramid-like too. And it's, it's how they did the bed. It's really cool. Fist of Vengeance. Break the Oshapti. No way! What? We got an autograph. We got we got an autograph that we could probably trade for May. I cannot believe it. It's Conchu again. Conchu was the first autograph I pulled out of any of the boxes we got from Steel City. Oh my god, we actually got we actually got an autograph. And even though it's not May, it might be one that someone might be willing to, to trade with us for May. Holy crap. Uh, this is so awesome. That is awesome. Let's look at the back of this card. It's not a numbered card, um, but it's still really cool. It's a gold scarab. We have one of these. We have an autograph with, um, I think it's Amit's autograph is on the, on. yeah, I think so. Um, boom, right there. Look at that. Amit's um, autograph. And although it would be cool to have, you know, Conchu right next to her, I have a Conchu autograph. We had, this is our third or fourth Conchu autograph. And the other ones we traded or, or sold on eBay and stuff. So we're trading this one. That's a great card too. So hopefully someone will trade us. That's perfect. How perfect. I was like, this is our last box. And I didn't even get a good feeling. Blue gets these weird feelings like, oh, if I buy a box today, we're going to get an autograph. And so um, today I just like, I don't think we're going to get anything. I'm just going to do this for fun. And oh man, I'm so glad. What a day. What a day. We hear about the new cards. We got the job. And now this is like really awesome. A really awesome day. Um, I hope you all are having an awesome day. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, we got a couple more packs to go. We got, we're on pack eight here. And I, we pretty much just hit the main one right there, but hope we still got two more hits we could probably get. There's a chance we might get, um, well, we should be getting like uh, one of the Travelers of the Night cards at some point. Um, and then I think one other hit, unless that autograph took that spot. So we'll see. So let's jump over to pack nine. <laughs> at this point, I'm like, I'm just, um, my hands are shaking worse than they normally are. Uh, but uh, but yeah, we're, we're going for it. That's a great shot of Ethan there too. And I like that we got some of the achievement cards. Blue was really cool about doing that with like trades and other things. And and then he went on eBay to buy like a couple that he was missing, I think, um, that were just too hard to get. And just really, really cool. Like, uh, I mean, um, to just know that there's more cards out there for Moon Knight and then more coming out, you know, soon, uh, which is awesome. And then we got the Comic-Con ones recently. So yeah, there's been a lot going on. So, hey, Chamber of the Gods. Is this our first Chamber of the Gods in the box? Maybe first or second. But um. I mean, it's cool. Again, we have all these, but it's still, I mean, it's, this is awesome. And I'm glad we got that auto. There was someone that blew messaged, I think recently. And the guy said, look, if you find a good auto from Moon Knight, that's worth trading for May, I'll trade you. So I think we just found, I think he'll trade us hopefully for Conchu. Cause I don't think he had a Conchu in his collection. Blue made a list of different people on the EPAC site and what autographs they had and what they're willing to trade. He tried to trade one guy, all like 480 of our E cards and he's like, look, even if these are like you, you know, value these at like 10 cents a piece, it's enough for a $50 autograph having almost, you know, 400, you know, almost 500 cards. And the person still turned him down. So, but he, he makes notes of everything and has a list of like who to try to trade with. And I think there's one guy in particular that I'm thinking of that might trade us for a May Kalamawe. So we're going to try. We're going to absolutely try. We'll update you guys if we do, because we'll do another update on the autograph set. Because uh, we got Tawedit finally. So, uh. So we got an autograph of Tao Wedit. So it'd be nice to add May as, as well. All right. We got, what, three packs left? This and two more. Okay. Hey, hi. That was our first printing plate was of this card. Really awesome. Great shot of Conchu talking to Mark and Steven. Um, that's a great shot of Ethan there. Oh, we got the gold uh, sand parallel, sorry, of, of the Chamber of the Gods. That's cool. Again, more trade, you know, value for me at least. Um, and blue, I don't know. Maybe we'll get something here. Blue can use to knock out another achievement and trade with somebody. We'll see. 
Definitely opened a lot of cards today between the two single packs and now this. But I knew once they went on sale, I was like, that's the last time we're going to buy any Moon Knight cards. And uh, Blue has been doing the E-Pack stuff, some of the recent ones. So I'm like, all right, this is my turn. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it for us. And we ended big. We ended very strong. So finally, redemption. Because <laughs> I was pulling garbage there for a while. And then he was just banging out the hits. So I'm like, God, dude, you're lucky. Um, so Fist of Vengeance and Shot of Ethan. Cool. Last pack. Here we go. Um, what the fish? I love this card because it always reminds me of the day I woke up and saw Ace for the first time in our apartment and being like, what the hell? Like, where'd this dog come from? Um, and it was a dog that I was looking at online at um, on their website and on their Instagram, at the shelter's Instagram and stuff. And it was a dog I wanted to get when Ace or when Echo was getting sick. I was like, well, maybe he'll, if, he, if he has a brother or another dog, you know, have someone to play with and stuff when I'm at work. And, and, uh, and so Ace was a dog. His name was Rascal at the time that I was looking at. And I would favorite anything or bookmark, you know, st post about him. And I think that's why Blue went and rescued him. Um, so I always think of the day I woke up and saw a different dog in our apartment. Every time I see the scene where he wakes up and sees a different fish in his apartment. Um, there's the Chamber of the Gods. Here the account of Conchu. There's our Traveler of the Night, finally. I saw this card, a uh, printing plate for it, and I'm thinking we might try to get the other two printing plate colors because we have a blue one and a um, tan one, like a yellow one now. So there's still kind of like a purplish one or a magenta, and then there's a black one. I saw this in magenta, and it's been on sale since like February, and the person has never sold it, and it keep the price keeps going down a little bit. So we might inquire about getting that at some point so we can have one of each color even if it's a different card that's fine but just a different color printing plate just so we have uh, all of them represented in some way all four you know colors awesome all right so that is it oh my goodness i'm so excited we are definitely going to trade that card that autograph that scarab card for anyone who will trade with us and we're going to try to get a really good may kalamawe i don't know if we'll get like one of the small die cut ones um, is the ones I think Blue was noticing, but I would like to get a hieroglyphic one. You know, one with like the hieroglyphics on it because she's kind of an archeologist in a way, you know, just like her father was, uh, her character, uh, Layla. And so I'd like to have her with that background. And that's also an autograph style we haven't gotten before. So we'll see, we'll see who trades us. We'll take anything at this point really, but just knowing that we are one step closer and a very good step to completing this uh, set of uh, you know, autographs that we want, is amazing. You know, at one point it would have been cool to have both, you know, Mr. Knight and Moon Knight. And we did at one point, we had both cards, but I thought it was smarter to sell it. And so did Blue because we were like, look, let's not be greedy. We don't really need, you know, each of them represented. We just want one of each actor that did autographs for the set. And we have five out of six. And now we're going to try to get the sixth one. So thank you so much. I appreciate you being on this long journey with us, doing all the Moon Knight cards, you know, through the physical boxes, um, being on other people's streams, reacting, you know, doing reactions to Steel City and Grey Malkin and being on Spidey Hits' channel and, you know, everyone who's just been so awesome and in, in, in this community of kind of accepting us and, and being really cool about letting us talk about our, you know, our prognosis, things we're going through, but also like what we're going through with the cards and how it's been a bonding thing between Blue and I and how he kind of pulled me into and back into in a major way, card collecting, and just how awesome it's been. And, and we're really grateful. And, you know, it's sad to kind of put a bookend finally on this and say, hey, no more Moon Knight cards, at least from this set or this series, until unless we do the spotlight episodes, which we have a plenty of those that we're going to do to showcase the set more. And then at some point, I promise I will get the review of the show out there. I promise you. It's just some things are harder to talk about when I watch that show than I realize. And so... um you know, we'll get there. I promise. At some point, we'll talk about the show and we'll get you a good review up on this channel. Let me know what you think of this down below. Are you, I'm so excited that we're going to finally complete. Hopefully someone will trade us, but complete. If not, we'll sell the card and we'll take the money and, you know, we'll we'll then, um, you know, use that money to buy the Layla card. So either way, we're going to end up with a Layla card, I'm pretty sure, because that was the whole point of this box was to get us a Layla card. And now we have something that might be worthy enough to do that. So thank you so much for watching this episode. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.